emergency landing, this Airbus A320 Jet Blue coming in now with uh, 146 people on board. That's 140 passengers and six crew members, uh, a pilot and a co-pilot up front. All right, we are watching it now, and it's coming in low and presumably slow now. It's probably crossing the 405 and approaching uh, Sepulveda Boulevard and ultimately the uh, airport. That's uh, runway 25 left. That was the 405 freeway right there. We're getting close. 25 left, as Mark pointed out, the longest runway at LAX, the one uh, they want to use for emergency landings if they can. And here it comes in now, this JetBlue flight 292 with that front nose gear pointed sideways. Hold the nose. Of smoke, but so far it's still intact. The landing gear. He's now slowing down as, as best he can. End of the runway. Mighty strong run uh, the landing gear here. That's the tires burning out there. Mm -hmm. All right best of all possible scenarios. It did not collapse. The chin gear, or the, the chin of that aircraft did not skid down the runway. It has come to a complete stop. They will now have to evacuate the passengers off that aircraft, but they're doing it uh, with the nose gear still in place, albeit with the tires burned away and gone, but you can see no indications of any fire on board this aircraft. It appears that this has all come to a very safe conclusion. Uh, we can guess now that the uh, the emergency equi equipment is heading in that direction. Bill Thomas in Air 7, what are you seeing? Absolutely. Emergency crews are in position now. They are approaching the aircraft. You just saw them execute that soft field landing. Land as slow as you can without stalling the aircraft. They brought the nose down very gently at the end of the runway. They used up about 95% of the runway. And in just moments now, what you'll see is the emergency doors opening up, and everybody will use the emergency chutes at the direction of the stewardesses and stewards, the flight attendants. You can see the uh, on the left side of that uh, jet blue flight, 292, 1, 2, and three doors there. They'll be opening any moment now. They will deploy the emergency chutes, and then one by one, each of those passengers will be deplaned. If anybody was injured during the landing, that's unclear right now, uh, but if they were injured during that landing, there are fire crews and paramedics standing by to take care of everybody. There are three rescue helicopters on the ground here at LAX as well. If anybody had to...